Hi guys, my name is Daniel TGN, and today I'm going to do a quick overview of the new iOS 7 beta on my iPhone 4S. So just to show you that I am on iOS 7, I'll just go to my settings and show you it is running, in fact, iOS 7.0. Version is 7.0. So the first thing I'm going to show today is the control center. All you have to do is just swipe up and then a new menu appears. From here you could access airplane mode, your Wi-Fi, your Bluetooth with the click of a button, do not disturb, and you actually do now orientation lock. So if I click this, my iPhone will not shift um, between landscape and portrait if it's locked. You could also access the brightness just like in an iPad from the main menu on the bottom. I can play a song, and I can even access um, airplay. And a really cool new feature is that it actually has a flashlight built in. There's no app required anymore, it's built in. And then you have the clocks, you have a calculator and camera. The next thing I'm going to show is the camera. So from here you're going to see there's a couple apps, not apps, but different menu options. Video, photo, square, and panoramic. The square is going to be a slightly different uh, type of camera compared to photo where it's not going to take up the full screen but it's going to take up uh, make it more of like a wide screen than an HD full screen. That's going to be the camera app. I'm just breezing by this real quick. The next thing I'm going to show you is Siri. I was using Siri a little bit and now it suddenly stopped working and it is a beta or beta so it is understandable. But I'll just show you what it looks like. What time is it? So it's actually not going to work, but as you can see, it has the squigglies, and it is a much smoother, sleeker design, which is really cool. Also, um, Siri is going to be able to adjust your brightness and turn on Bluetooth and much more complicated tasks than before. That's just a quick show of Siri. The next thing I'm going to show you is actually really cool. It doesn't really have a, a, a meaning to it, but it just has a cool effect. So as you can see, when I move my iPhone back and forth, the number or the time basically stays the same when the background actually moves, so it gives it a 3D effect. So it kind of looks like the A59 is floating. Same thing if I log in, the icons are going to do the same thing with the background. So if you look really carefully, you can see the background is not moving when the icons are. This is a really cool effect. The next feature I'm going to show you is actually going to be multitasking, which is really cool. So on iOS 6 or earlier, all you had to do is double tap, and then you would have all the icons below. Here, you actually see the icons plus the open window. So it's much easier to find what you want, and it has very nice transitions and everything. So let's say, whoops, sorry about that. So let's say I want to open up my Snapchat. I just tap Snapchat, and it opens right away. There is no delay at all. It's right there. The next and last feature I'm going to show you in this video is going to be in Safari. They really put a lot of time and effort, it looks like, into Safari, and it seems much better. So in Safari, you're going to notice there's a menu on the bottom now. You would actually tap one, and then just like a Mac, you could scroll through all your open windows in um, a really nice and clean, fluid uh, way, which is really cool. Um, so once again guys, this is just a quick video showing some of the new features on iOS 7. I really hope you enjoyed. Please give it a like, comment, subscribe. If you do want me to show you some more features in depth, just feel free to just comment them and I'll try to my best to make a video out uh, with the in-depth review of a feature. And also if you are wondering when this uh, iOS 7 is coming out, it is coming out in fall, uh, next fall. So thanks again 